out here on the ranch, man. Lovely day. I got my new, my new sheep. It's called a, it's called a U. Brent, settle down. And uh, the farm is growing, man. The ranch is growing, man. One day at a time, one animal at a time, you know. A special surprise. She's pregnant. Um, I'm about to have first birth on the property, and I'm also about to. have some milk on the property man some milk some fresh gold milk making some fresh butters you know. but look at all that wool it's probably how big the other sheep is going to get to eventually when she gets older but I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see Fresh, uh, fresh bell over there. The wind is blowing like crazy, it's blowing everything away. Blowing stuff also got some more babies, babies. Look at how small these guys are. Aren't they the cutest babies in the world? Baby goat youngins. My other older goats over here. He's nice and full. It's my female. She's doing good. Little lady. She hasn't got much taller though. Wonder if she's just a baby dwarf like that. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy <laughs> if she didn't get much bigger than that. But these little new ones, they're, they're damn near the same, like as tall as her. She's already over a month old. Little baby goat, you came to say hi to the camera? Appreciate that, man. Look at that little baby goat. Look at him. He just looks like a little baby meerkat or something. <laughs> he just, little baby goat. And I built this little. Multi nipple milk milk slapper. Yeah, I built this from uh, you know some supplies at Walmart. Some supplies at Walmart. But first time trial run, and uh, it's holding the milk. They've already ate off of it. Also got my rails over here with the bottles on it bottle rail joint but since I got new babies I'm trying to make things easier on myself I got more nipples for this thing too so when I get more babies I can just throw some more nipples on it um, but it's working out so far this the babies they've been here for about three days now I believe about three days four days something like that so, he's growing, growing and learning and learning and growing. Look at all this wool on this baby girl right here. Look at that. Wow. Very woolly. A woolly. Look at all that wool on that girl. And she was bottle fed too so she is like human friendly type um, and the 
other sheep looks so small compared to her, but she's also pregnant too. So we're gonna have babies here on the, a little baby sheep too. She could have more than um, one. Usually they have two. This is her first year. She's only one year old. She's probably not even a year. She was born. She's a yearling. Yeah, she's a yearling. So she's one year old. She's uh, She got tapped and she's going to have some children. So I'm hoping that she has two or more. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Two or more. You know, they could have up to five at the most, you know, most they've ever had. It's five, but she could just have one. But woo, if I can get like three of them little babies out of there, I'll, I'll take care of them. I'll take care of them, man. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'll give you a update on the birds. Birds have been doing very swell. They've been lining up over by the feed joint look at these guys ready as soon as i scoop out anything from from my little scoop area over here they are ready i do got some chicken scratch some scratch for them like little pieces of corn sunflower seeds little stuff like that so I'll throw some of this stuff out. They just little, any type of little flaking to the ground and they're waking up like, wait a minute, who, are they eating? Are they eating over there? Look at the party pooper right here, Mr. Prince. So the brown ones are my egg laying hens and they're, they're coming out from all over. I just throw scratch around on the ground in between feeds and stuff like that. Just so it gives them something to do and moves them around. Look at this guy coming in, flying in over here. So I'll throw some over there. And it keeps them, keeps them occupied. Keeps them Nice and healthy. Oh. Looks like all the birds are here. I always count them to make sure that uh, no predators have gotten any. No hawks that flow over or something and grabbed one or something like that. So, it's all a process. J.O., I'm out here on the ranch, living it up. Loving it. I walked uh, that backside over there. I got a flag out there for my golf. And um, I just walked over there, picked up all the balls that I missed, you know, knocked all the ones that I got close enough to the hole into the into the green. But you gotta have little extra extracurricular activities out here on the ranch. See my electric bike over there? Four thousand dollar bike, man. Now look at it; it be getting snowed on. This used to be one of my everyday travelers in the city, Las Vegas. You know, I just hop on the bike uh, and be out. Fully electric, pedal assist. And it has all the racks and stuff. Ride right, passengers on this bike. You know, I busted a lot of jobs on, you know, on this bike. Riding this bike right here. Going to go do a mechanic job. Yes, sir. And this bike, many miles with all of my tools, 
all of my tools, everything on it. And uh, even a jack, you know, my tools, a jack, a jumper box, all that, you know. <laughs> but uh, I used to make it happen, man. I used to make it happen, you know. But I bought that at a time when, you know, my license was being threatened, you know. I didn't know if I was going to be able to, to keep it. So I was like, you know what? I can't let that stop me from making money. You know, if you want to take my license, take it. You dig? But I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have something that I'm gonna be able to get to wherever I need to go and make the money that I need to make, so I can get the so I can get at it, get away from me. You know what I'm saying? And um, I did that, man. I could have just sat down and said, you know what? I ain't gonna. I mean, I could just, I could just, just sit back and talk crap and act like there's nothing I could do. But I said, nah, I'm gonna buy this bike right here, and I'm gonna use this to make sure ain't nothing gonna stop me. So it only uses a little bit of electricity. Uh, it probably costs like, like a two dollars a dollar or something to charge it and it rides for 60 miles you know with the pedal assist so i saved a lot of money i saved a lot of money on gas and um just, just was able to save and stack up by riding the bike to work every day and i also had my motorcycle you know i'll flip it to you that motorcycle out there right sure also have my motorcycle that i used to drive around and that thing gets what 50 miles to the gallon so Just saving a lot of money with gas and everything like that. Just keeping it moving. You know? So, JG Ranch. We out here. Uh, handling business. Having fun. Loving life. Taking care of business. I like me, man. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe, man. Hit that like, though, to show other people that this video is fire. And uh, hit that subscribe so you can make sure you uh, you up on all the new latest J.O. videos, man. I'm slapping you with them. I'm showing you how to get, you know, self-sufficient. I'm showing you things you want to do, things you don't want to do. I'm letting you go on my process with me so you can see how I mess up and, and do things the right way. And you can emulate, you know, and... Um, we all can have something like this, man. Eventually, I want to build this up to a productive farm. Right now, I'm ranching. Oh, I got a ranch. But eventually, I want to build this to a productive, money-making farm. And I'm going to take you through the process. Ride with me. Show them want to ride with me. We can get low. All right, J-O. Ooh, and I'm out.